Hi, and welcome to our Dectronix video tutorial for J-Series products. Today, we are going to show you how to replace a receiver and hub card in our J10 display. First, turn off the power to the display. Wait for about 30 to 40 seconds for the power to drain off in the section. Next, remove the RJ45 cable connected to it. You see two power cables, loosen the screws, and slide the spades out. Next, remove the ribbon cables connected to the cards by just pulling it straight backwards and out. To remove the hub card, you want to put your fingers on the top and the bottom and slowly edge it out. Be careful with the pins that you won't break them. There are a total of four screws in each corner that hold the receiver card to the cabinet. Let's go ahead and remove that. Hold on to the card before you remove the last screw. And there you go. With the replacement card, hold it up against the screw posts and put the first screw in. Put a second screw so that you can center the card. And once the card is centered, you can go ahead and tighten the screws. Next, to put on the hub card, make sure you orientate it with the tabs on the top. And make sure that you line up the pins correctly. Holding the card on the side, push it straight down, making sure that the whole card is snug. Then replace the ribbon cables. They have a notch here, and they only go in in one direction. The first cable on the top, the first socket, and then subsequently the rest of the card. Next, the power cables, making sure the black tab is on the right. Slot, it, slot the, the spades below the screws, then tighten. Give it a gentle pull, make sure it's firm. Then connect your RJ45 cable into the card. You can turn on the display. The last step is to make sure you send the configuration file to this display card.